President Joe Biden's son is in hot water again. Federal prosecutors indicated that they plan on indicting Hunter Biden by the end of the month. To tell us more about this, Yahoo Finance reporter Rick Newman. Hey, Rick. So this case has been going on for something like five years, and there was a plea deal that fell apart over the summer, which means that Hunter Biden is now going to be prosecuted. Presumably, this will go to trial on one charge uh, that involves felony possession of a gun. He lied about being ad uh, addicted to uh, illegal drugs when he filled out a form after purchasing a weapon. So that would be the crime. And it's possible he's going to uh, to also get charged for two tax-related offenses, basically tax evasion on uh, around $3 million in income he earned in 2017 and 2018. He didn't pay taxes on that at the time. He, he has since. But uh, I mean, you could argue this is all a good thing because this uh, the Hunter Biden saga has been simmering behind the scenes. And the real question is not what did Hunter Biden to do? I mean, he and his family have admitted he's got a he has had a troubled life, been addicted to drugs for periods of time um, and made some bad decisions. The, the, the real question is, did President Biden have any involvement in anything that might have been criminal uh, that involves Hunter Biden? And uh, more broadly, did uh, Joe Biden, when he was a senator, the vice president, or even the president, did he benefit um, financially or in any other way from uh, Hunter Biden, who was clearly cashing in on the family name by being involved with businesses in Ukraine and China and elsewhere? So very important to note here, as far as we know, at the moment, there is no evidence that President Biden did anything, certainly that he did anything criminal, and really no evidence that he did anything wrong. He did communicate with his son, Hunter, while Hunter was involved in some of these business dealings. And Republicans are trying to make the connection that, oh, he made this phone call at this such and such a time, and some business associate of Hunter happened to be in the room. But they've got nothing on Joe Biden yet. So but let's bring this to trial. Let's put all the evidence out in the open for Americans to see, which is better than a plea deal, which is kind of a private arrangement. So let's let everybody see what's going on here. So if there's anything linking Joe Biden to any criminal activity, let's get it out in the even if it's in the middle of the 2024 election. And if there's no evidence, then let's put it all out there and then get beyond it. And we know that there's there's no lack of a current and former presidents, you know, in, in the midst of some of this uh, political uh, and legal turmoil, especially as we consider Trump as well. Um, I want to shift gears to international relations now, because there, a report is out today saying that Beijing officials are banning the use of iPhones by government employees at work. So what does that mean for the future of U.S. and China trade relations? Possibly nothing. Um, now, Apple stock is down sharply uh, by, by more than 3 percent today on this news. Um, but to put this in perspective, this is the Chinese government saying we don't want government officials using iPhones. Uh, government officials are a tiny portion of Apple's customer base in China. And if it just ends there, then it's kind of a nothing burger. Um, this is a big deal because Apple gets almost 20 percent of its revenue from China. It might even be a bigger market for Apple than the United States. Uh, and the reason uh, the Chinese government is doing this, I don't think this is uh, for hostile purposes, I think they're doing this because they they there's a ongoing effort to emphasize homegrown technology. So think Huawei phones rather than Apple phones. And there is this very interesting new uh, Huawei phone that just came out with an advanced semiconductor. So this could be uh, the Chinese government's effort to just favor the home team a little bit, boost the home team. If Apple uh, is able to continue to sell its iPhones to any other um, Chinese citizens who want one, then there's probably no problem. I guess the real question is whether there could be some broader um, crackdown on Apple phones, which would um, probably create a bunch of problems, in including possible retaliation that China doesn't want to get involved with. So um, best bet is that this is going to be limited to just Chinese government officials and that really won't hurt Apple very much. Uh, I looked at Apple stock. It is down 10 percent since the end of July. Um, so I'm not making a buy or sell recommendation here, but I wouldn't be surprised if there were some buy the dip recommendations on Apple stock at this point.